Well, good morning, my little potato chips. How you doing? And um, this is just a wee uh, show and tell video. There's been a, a a little video that's been running the rounds at the minute. Somebody asked about your three, um, what should we call them? Church knives, executive knives, knives that you go to a wedding with. Your sort of knives that you can bring out anywhere and you're not going to scare the sheeple. Now, a lot of people just have plain black knives, sort of non-threatening slim line. I don't believe that's the way I would carry. If, you know, if I want a church knife or I want a, I want a knife that's not going to look threatening. Yes, that's a given. But also, I want a knife that is going to be attractive to people. So that if I take it out of my pocket, people are going to want to see it and hold it. So... That's where I'm going with this one. And it was to pick three knives. Well, I picked three different subjects. I know this is a wee bit different than the people out there. And everybody, it's an open tag. You do your version or do three completely different ones. It's just lovely. It's a better way of seeing more knives. <laughs> that's that's always my policy. I love seeing other people's knives. But these would be what I would call my um, sheeple-friendly knives, church knives. They're only going to take out to somewhere that's a bit posh. And you don't want a daggery type knife or a big locking knife. We're going to start here. This is the GEC number 38 special. A lovely long slim blade. Now, you could say that's a stabby blade and, and that's fine. But when this knife is taken out and handed to somebody, look at this beautiful knife. It's just full of colour. People will take that and want to hold it. It feels smooth in the hand. It is just a beautiful knife. It really is gorgeous. So I don't believe that would scare people. And the first thing before I go on, the one thing, if you're going to take out maybe bigger knives than you, a lot of people maybe take peanuts and things like that out because they know that's not going to scare people. I'm not worried about scaring people. If my knives are legal, they're legal. But what I don't want to do is make them feel threatened. And any of these three don't do it. But if you carry a knife like these in a sheath, when somebody says, anybody got a knife, you can say yes, you pull a sheath out. People are automatically disarmed. I believe the sheath is the key to carrying a bigger knife in a setting where it's not normally done. Now, these are, again, all under three inch blades, so they're not monsters. That is just a beautiful knife to carry. And so is this. This is the GEC number 56. This is the dog leg jack. Um, this one's in the um, beautiful acrylic. Just look at the colours on that. Again, who's going to be frightened by that? I don't believe anybody is. It doesn't flick out. This is why I think traditional knives are probably the better pick when you're going for anything where sheeple are involved. And the next one is a wooden one. But look at them wooden handles. Look how thick the back of that is. That in hand is just beautiful. You want to touch it and stroke it. This has, again, a big clip point. Is that threatening? On a lot of knives it would be. But you put it with a beautiful wooden handle and take it out of a slip. And it just literally disarms people nearly immediately because it's just stunning. Look at that file work in the back. People are going to want to touch and hold knives like I do. It's that initial when you pick something up. Is it scary? No. Is it nice looking? Yes. When you touch it, is it like, yes. That's what knives are to me. So that's what I would call my church, my wedding, that they're going somewhere fancy. But I still want to have a good size knife. But look, if you've got a little peanut on you and you've got a, a heavier task, you, it's useless. It may as well not be there. I like a peanut in my fifth pocket. But these are the knives that I'd want to take with me no matter where I'm going. So there's three over there. Now I'm just going through these quickly. There's reviews on my channel of most of these knives. If there's not, there will be coming. If you want one, ask me. I'll do one for you if it's not there. Here's another three. And here's three that I would call office knives or work knives. Again, you're going to have the sheeple about you there. But I've, I've chosen these specifically because they're two bladed. And two bladed knives gives me more option that it means if I do overuse one, I'll always have a second one that's sharp and ready to go. And this is in work. If you're going to, one day you cut a lot of cardboard boxes, so you do a couple of straps. 
and maybe you chip the blade or do something. You've always got another blade. So these would be what I call work nice. But again, the theme is, do they look nice? And I believe that these do look nice. They're colourful. They're not, I, I sometimes think black or just a single colour, unless it's like a, a lovely strawberry red, that can be frightening. It makes it more menacing. Lovely colour. Like this is a bone, a worm groove bone. This is just a, a stag bone dyed green. This is just a um, red bone with a beautiful strawberry. <laughs> this is just a stunning knife. This is a three bladed knife, but one of them's an oil, which is, you, in, a, in a work situation, having an oil is really good. Even if you've got to puncture some holes in a, a, a binder or something, having that with you at work, I think a knife like this is a perfect accompaniment for work. You have two other big blades that can do all your work. This is a this is a Shatton Morgan, and this is a trapper. This is a gunstock trapper, but it's not like the big um, case trapper. Look at that, beautiful blades. The writing on the blades, anything that's etched and things like that, tends to take the fear of knives away from people, and that is just a stunning knife to bring out and work. And again, there's a marbles, you know a. 20 pound knife look how beautiful that is and that green stag bone it's just beautiful it really is and i don't believe any of them three have you brought them out in an office again if they're in a slip if you have a slip and then you're bringing your knife out this knife is not a bit big for this slip in particular but there we go if you bring it out it takes away that menace that a knife can bring to a lot of people and we have to understand there's an awful lot of people where knives are a menace to them and they're not used to them so they have a fear of knives and over in this country we have bred a, a, a complete fear for knives and it's completely unfounded when it comes to a pocket knife but they get lumped in with a kitchen knife that stabs people so the easier we can make it the better for people and that's it. We just want more people to like our hobby and to share our hobby, sharing the joy of it. So they would be what I call work knives. Um, specifically, sorry, that one was the, yes, I told you, that's the um, Copperhead, the Gunstock, and that is the Stockyard Knife from GEC. So three different models, three different price ranges, and the price has nothing to do with it. It's what they're made of and the colours that I believe takes away all that fear. And the last three that I picked, the last section that I picked, is steak knives, eating out knives. <laughs> this is even sort of, you know, I picked three beautiful knives that I would take with me if I'm going out to eat a meal. And I always want to have a sharp knife. I hate serrated knives. So many restaurants think that is the knife to do. This is an absolute corker. Now, this is only, this is a Shatton Morgan, only one of 30 of these. This is the Slimline Trapper. You can see on the blade, there's only one of 30 made. What a stunning knife. What a steak knife to bring out. It's long. Is it stabby? Yes. But I would also put this in a, a little wallet, a little slip, and then you pull a nice slim knife out. Again, let people see it. You don't have to go straight to pulling it out and eating your steak. What do you think of that? And you can hand that. That beautiful wood grain is just a joy to behold. You know, it's it's, it's in the ring bolsters. Everything about it is gentlemanly. It's not aggressive. And it's a big knife. That's right on the three-inch limit. Here's another. This is a beautiful... GEC number 73 Scout, in and of itself, it's a big usable knife, could be scary, but the bone on it and the jigging, and again, once you pull it, I'm going to keep saying it, because once you pull a knife out of a sheath, it takes a lot of the stigma away, because it's not quick, it's not, it's not in your face, it just takes it out, and you can hand that, and it's a touch knife, it's a feel, it's a texture knife. And then here's just a bog standard knife, but the difference to it, this is just a, a dark wood. I'm not sure even what it is, but file work on the back of it. Beautiful knife, big rounded blade. This would be my favorite steak knife because it's non-threatening, but it is just a lovely, lovely knife to use for a steak or any sort of hard use, to be honest with you. It's a good stock on it, 
But again, it's not going to frighten people, I don't think, if you bring that out of a restaurant, out of your little slip, and you say, what do you think of that? This is my steak knife. You've taken all that fear. And it's up to us to take the fear away from people on the outside. Because if we want them to relax in our company and know that we have knives, and where you'll go the next time with them people, they're going to say, have you seen Paddy's knife? Paddy, show him your knife. What have you got today? That's how we get it into society. That's how we bring these, these things that bring us so much joy into society. And it doesn't matter which knife you really should take anywhere, but the way you bring it out in that company is the thing that makes it acceptable or not acceptable. And I think that is our, that's what we should do. We should make our knives acceptable in their world because there's less of us than there is of them. And especially in this, this country over here, and a lot of countries now, knife crime is, and it's kitchen knife crime, really. I don't see anybody going out with a GEC stabbing. Never seen one on the TV. I'd love to know if anybody's ever done it. Well, no, I wouldn't love to know. That's just nonsense. But you know what I mean? It, it, nobody takes a, a £150 knife out to, to commit petty crime. They take a steak knife or they take a kitchen knife or some old gas station knife. These are not the knives they take out. So it's up to us to integrate them into, integrate them into society so that they become acceptable. What do you think on the subject? Do you think we just shouldn't care? Um, and that's fine. If that's your, you know, that's your choice. We just shouldn't care. We should pull them out. I think pulling them out, especially with a ship, a slip, is the nice way to get people talking, to take away the fear um, because it's not quick. It's not a flick. It's not, you know, in your face. So there you go. What do you think? Please, it's an open tag. Do a video, make some different categories for you. But let's see your knives. It's a nice way to see nine knives from other people or how many knives you've got. If you don't have the nine, don't worry. Put three up, doesn't matter. Take care. Paddy's away for a cup of tea. Bye now.